All right, in today's video, we're going to cover um, how we're going to set up uh, an extra membership. So on this testing website that I have here, I've got two memberships set up, a uh, beginner's WordPress course and an advanced WordPress course. Um, but uh, I want to add another membership that's really not necessarily related to these. Um, it's just a PDF file that I want people to be able to purchase and download. And so um, this PDF file has to do with science. So I'm going to call my membership um, Science PDF Download. And I'm going to sell it for $9.99. It's just a one-time payment. They can have access to the PDF forever. And I'm going to go ahead and publish this membership. And then I want to go to my menus. And I want to make sure that um, our, uh, the users have access to this. And just to keep the uh, menu a little bit shorter. I'm going to change this to just say science PDF. Now if I go to the website you can see my courses and pricing for the regular membership courses but now I have this new option science PDF. And I can come in here and I can purchase that for $9.99. Now how do we necess or excuse me how do we uh, tie this science PDF so that the user can easily download it once they've um, purchase this. So uh, what I'm going to do here is we're going to edit this membership and we're going to go like this. We're going to say Mepper Active and we're going to say um, membership equals and I want to get the ID of this membership and it's actually up here in the URL so I can copy this ID 69 so this is basically saying if the member is active on this membership then I'm going to show them what's ever, whatever is in between this short code. And I'm just going to end the short code here. And then I'm going to say oops, and I'm going to say if allowed equals hide and I'll go over what these shortcodes mean here in just a second and you'll you'll understand once we get it finished okay so now I have member active membership 69 and in here I'm gonna say download PDF and I'm gonna make this into a link um, that links to that PDF so first I need to upload the PDF so I'm gonna say upload file and I've got this PDF here and I want to copy the link for it here and instead of inserting into page I'm just gonna do control A in this box and copy this URL okay now I'm gonna highlight this download PDF and I'm gonna paste in that URL to the PDF file and then in here I'm going to come down here and I'm going to copy this registration form shortcode. And I'm going to paste that right in between this one. <clears throat> so what's going to happen here is if the member has purchased the membership already, they will see a download PDF link. If the member has not purchased the membership already, then they'll just see the sign up form. So I'm going to go ahead and update this. And because I'm logged in as an administrator, I should see the download link. And there it is. So now I can download this PDF. And uh, this you can make this you know, pretty or however you want it to look. Um, add a button or whatever you want to do. Um, but again, now I can click download this PDF, which is just some random PDF I found on the internet. And... Uh, let me log out here. Just go to an incognito window. If I try to view this as a guest who has not yet purchased, 
I see the sign up form here. And so that's one way um, that we can do the, the download. Another option is I'm just going to get rid of all this. I'm going to update the file here. Another option is to come here to this advanced tab and we're going to set this membership access URL, URL um, to go to the PDF file. So I got the wrong URL there. Let's go to media. Grab the URL to that file again. So I'm going to control A to copy or to highlight it. Control C to copy. And we come back here and I'm going to paste that right in here. And now if I check comments here. And now if I update this membership, um, if you've already purchased this membership, which I haven't yet, so let me purchase it really quick. And I'm using an offline payment method, so I just have to go quickly manually approve the payment here. Whoops. Okay. Um, so now if I view the membership and I've already purchased it, it'll say you've already subscribed to this item. Click here to access it. Click the link, it takes me right to the PDF file. And in my account page, if I click subscriptions, I've got a link right here to the PDF. And on the payments tab, I also have a link right here to the PDF. And these links are generated by setting this uh, membership access URL here. And the last part of this, if your web host is using Apache, which you'll need to contact them to find out if they use Apache or Nginx or Lightspeed or whatever they're using, uh, this only works with Apache and Lightspeed. So you can copy the URL to the PDF, except you want everything after the .com or the .live or the .net or whatever. In this case, it's I got .life, so I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go to Options, um, General, and I'm going to uncheck this Disable Rewrite Rules box. And I'm going to go Settings, Permalinks. I'm just going to click Save. This is just to update the .ht access rules for Apache. And then I'm going to come to Rules, and I'm going to say Custom URI, Protect the path to this PDF. Again, you want everything after the .com, so that first forward slash after the .com, and then the rest of the path to the PDF file. I'm going to say members who have purchased the science PDF download can view this file. Now the nice thing about this is what if somebody hasn't paid for your membership but somehow they get this direct file. So let me uh, click the file here. It pulls right up to the PDF. So with that new rule in place if an unregistered user were somehow to get access to that uh, PDF file uh, member press will jump in and say hey you don't have access to view this file and it'll show them this unauthorized message and they can either log in and you can update this message to show a link to the sign up page um, etc but um, having that custom URI rule will protect that file from direct access um, in case someone who's not a registered member somehow were able to get this direct link to the file so again, that works with Apache or Lightspeed. Uh, if your web host is using Nginx or some other uh, uh, web server, uh, you will not be able to use these custom URIs. So uh, anyways, that pretty much wraps up today's video on how to sell and protect uh, individual files. Um, for instance, in this case, it was a PDF file. But we also support uh, some other file types. Let me pull up our user manual here. I'll show you a list of the uh, file types that we can protect. So you got zip, gz, tar, rar, doc, docx, xls, xlsx, xlsm, pdf, mp4, 
M4V, MP3, TS, Key, and M3U8. These are the file types that we currently can protect uh, with our custom URI rules. Um, you'll see PDFs on that list. If you want to protect a file that's not in this list, we recommend zipping it up and just protecting the zip file. Uh, anyways, hope this video helps, and uh, if you guys have any other questions as you're going through this, uh, please reach out to our support so we can help you out.